Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I want to briefly talk about something that is getting a lot of attention in the generative AI space, MCP or Model Context Protocol. Now I'm not going into too much details because there are already plenty of deep dives out there. But here's a quick overview to set the stage. MCP or Model Context Protocol is essentially a way for generative AI models to interact with external tools and system in a structured manner. At the core of MCP, there are two main parts. First, the MCP client, that's typically the language model interface like cursor, which sends our request. Then there's the MCP server, which receives those requests, processes or fetches the necessary information and sends back structured response. Now, when it comes to how the client and server communicate, there are a couple of key methods. One is STDIO and the other one is SSC. STDIO is typically used when the MCP server is running on the same machine as the client. It's rely on the server's standard input and output stream to exchange messages. And this allows you to execute commands directly on the server which is specially useful for running scripts or other executable processes locally. And on the other hand, SSE or server sent events is used when the client and server are communicating remotely. It leverages HTTP connection to stream data from the server to the client in real time. It's one-way communication channel, which makes it ideal for scenarios where you want to continuous updates from the server like in live dashboards or dynamic interfaces. Now we have got a bit of background. Let's talk about the fun part, the demo. We are going to create a simple Gen AI application using Langflow. If you haven't heard about it before, Langflow is a visual tool that makes it super easy to build generative AI apps. You don't need to write much code, just drag, drop and connect. It only takes a few minutes to set up, which is why I chose it for today's demo. For this demo, we will use an MCP server called Pubkim. It's a community server, meaning it's open and easy to work with. I chose Pubkim because of my background in chemistry and my excitement about generative AI. Combining these two words feels like the perfect fit for me. The Pubkim server lets you pull detailed and well-structured information about chemical compounds and drugs. Don't worry, this is purely curiosity and science, not for misuse. Think about it, the chemical we come across in daily life like those medicines, skincare products or even food additives often have complex names. Pubchem help us to decode them and learn what they really are. It's fascinating to see the science behind every detail. Now you might wonder, why not just ask an LLM directly for this information? But the thing is, you might get hallucinated response or outdated answer, especially if the information isn't part of the model's training data. And while retrieval argument generation or RAG is an option, it requires your database to stay current. You can automate that, sure, but uh, there's another way. Instead of relying on static data or hoping for accuracy, you can just query the PubGame API directly through the MCP server. This gives you a reliable real-time response without needing to maintain your own dataset. If you are not familiar with it, PubGame is a publicly accessible chemical database maintained by the National Library of Medicine at the NIH. It is one of the most comprehensive resources available for chemical substance including their structures and biological activities. It's a go-to source for researchers and anyone interested in understanding how small molecules interact with biological systems. So with all that in mind, let's jump into the demonstration. I will show you how easy it is to build this using Langflow, where we will connect an MCP client to the PubChem server and start pulling chemical data, live, accurate and fast. Let's get started. So I am accessing this Langflow from the local version. Then I will use this simple agent because that's very easy. Simple agent is a template where you can access an agent with this flow. You can see this, you can read about it, how to access or use this flow. But I will be not using this external tools called calculator. So I will just delete it and keep this chat input agent and chat output as it is. On the left hand side, I will just search MCP. 
see this is how easy it is you just need to search the compound you want and then once it is selected you just drag it and include it in your flow so here as you can see the mcp command is uvx mcp server fetch but i will be changing it to a different server by default the fetch server is there but i will be using something called the pubkim mcp server which is also used for this uvx command then i will click on this refresh button what it does is get chemical info from these two tools uh, only two tools so it's very simple and then on the top i will just enable the tool mode then and that will change the color of it so that i can connect with my ai agent so this is so simple you just see how easy this is in a minute you just create an mcp server and in the playground you can just search for different chemicals compound drug and so on first i will ask about this fentanyl it's widely known and often discussed i believe it's a powerful synthetic opioid used for server pain but it's often misused leading to overdose and deaths since it's so well known i want to look it up as you can see fentanyl has a cas number molecular weight formula smiles and several synonyms like duragistic duragistic fentafist and fentanyl citrate now for more details you can click the pubkin page and explore further next is metafortamine it's this is uh, this is often referred as blue sky in a popular series called breaking bad uh, worth watching if you haven't it's a strong stimulant used for both medically and of course illegally which is why it's linked to dark curdle and conflicts its structure and effect are well documented especially its high potential for addiction and abuse there's a lot of useful information you can pull it from. now let's ask two more question or maybe three first what is psilocybin or psilocybin and uh, there are multiple pronunciation i have heard it's found in magic mushrooms i thought it was synthetic but maybe not it's known for its psychoactive effects and mood changes and there's ongoing research in mental health and neuroscience next is uh, acetaminophen you have probably heard of it it's the commonly name for paracetamol a widely used over the counter painkiller i included here as a simple example unlike the others like fentamin metafortamin or psilocybin which are often associated with misuse you can also check out ascorbic acid which is the vitamin c there you go as you can see it uh, it's really easy to connect an mcp server with langflow and build a gen ai system for the quick prototyping or experiments thanks for watching see you soon